What's up guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and today I'm going to be showing off the fusion between Goku and Bardock, which of course is Bardot or Bardoko, whichever translation you want to go by. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day as always and of course, if you like today's video, smash the like button and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, this unit is very interesting because he is, a, you know, a nuka for the most part. So, if you pair him up with a unit like Beerus, there is a lot of potential damage there. But I doubt that they share too many links in particular, which kind of hurts their overall damage output. Or his overall damage output, because it's technically still one person. But yeah, let's go ahead and just see how it goes. Of course, this is the Fusion Category Team. And I have absolutely no... I wouldn't say expectations, but I don't necessarily have a benchmark. Well... I suppose for any unit, if they can hit for at least a million, especially at 100%, it means they're good, right? So, granted, there are going to be better options in certain situations, but this is a good starting point. Okay, and we are going to keep a track of how many orbs we pick up. So, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six orbs. Let's see what you can do. And I'm actually going to go and double check that passive of his. So, 15% attack per orb obtained and 10% defense. So, d defense doesn't necessarily matter that much because, of course, main focus is going to be attack 99% of the time. So, let's see how it goes, especially when we have the pan in play that provides an attack and defensive increase. Okay. So, pan's at just under 500k. It's a decent starting point. Ooh. With just six orbs? I dig it, and that is low-key Goku Black's. <laughs> well, actually, it's the other way around. Goku Black has, like, the exact same Super Attack animation, but obviously, they just changed the sprite and a few things. Mm-hmm. Didn't notice that, <laughs> did you? Bandai, oh, well, you probably did. Bandai trying to get away with these things. And this economy, that's crazy. That's crazy. Ooh. Uh, honestly, this should be able to take him out. Yeah, I'm running Karoli as well. Because why not? It's another situation where this category just has too many great units that it's going to be impossible to avoid using good ones. So, I tried to use bad units, so to speak. It's just so, obviously, I don't want other people stealing the show, but you have to run a double LR Gogeta lead. Come on. We're being real here. That's just something that you can't avoid. Oh, wow. Didn't expect to get a crit there. Here we go. And then... We have a great rotation next turn. So remember, 15% attack increase per orb obtained. Now, I do want to see if these guys share links, do they? Mm, apart from shattering the limit? Mm, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm going to try to maximize the amount of orbs I can pick up. And that is crazy. You know, I'm actually going to double check. So, Barlot, Doken, Wiki. I just want to ensure that it's per... Any orb obtained, not just like one specific type of orb. I'm pretty certain it's any orb. So yeah, 15% for any orb obtained. And when it comes to his attack links, his best one, Experienced Fighters and Saiyan Pride. Is there anyone on this team of Experienced Fighters? I think LR Gogeta does have it. Yeah, he does. So I'm going to try to get him back around at some point. But this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think that is. So... Let's see how high that attack stat is going to be. Now, uh, it kind of sucks. So, I need to plan a rotation. <laughs> right, listen to this. I need to plan... That's actually a six super attack. I need to plan a rotation where I have the LR Beerus... Well, the Beerus change the orbs. And then I need a rotation with Pan. And... Oh, it's just... Mm, it's inconvenient, really. To be fair, that's a decent amount of orbs. So I'm going to try to save these ones. Oh, that's actually good. That may actually be 12. So um, I should be capable of doing what I want to do about the Rearus. Because I want to be capable of grabbing a decent amount of orbs. And at the same time, activating the majority of his major attack links. Which is, for the most part, experienced fighters. Same pride is a good attack link as well. But it's just, you're never going to activate it really. Oh, that's yikes. I hope that Pandel doesn't get an additional super attack or a crit. That is a lot. That may actually be more than last time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The exact same amount of orbs as last time. 
But we are activating experience fighters link this time round, which is a 10% attack link. And it's basically the exact same rotation, right? Without the Rearus changing the orbs. Now, it's pa the Pandel cannot take him out. That would have been absolutely wonderful. Keep trying. But the issue is... Oh, damn it. This sucks. This actually sucks. Because I'm not going to have a Goji next turn. Well, you know how it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Got to keep going until things work out, right? Okay. I'm good. Are we good? Get a crit? Hey, you got a crit as well. Now, this next rotation shouldn't be that much of an issue. I'm actually low-key kind of triggered. I was just perfect. It's like, nah, you're good, fam. It's not going to work out the way that you want it to. But you know what? It's fine. We're going to perse persevere. Am I saying that word right? Is it perse... Yes, persevere. I'm an idiot. I need to stop. And to be fair, he still does get a defensive increase per orb obtained. So, we've got super attacks here. I want to see how much damage we actually take. But of course, Pandel will get a crit. I'm pretty certain that just a normal super attack wouldn't have taken him out. But it just had to be a crit, right? All right, come on, Bardot. I mean, he is consistently over a million in terms of the attack stat. And the to be honest, the super attack alone may actually warrant just running him. Like, it's that cool. For me, anyway. All right. Ooh. Want to do a little more? No? Okay, that's cool. Uh, Yeah, it doesn't really matter which go G, so I get to come up. I just want to get that scenario again. But you know, you know what the annoying thing is? It was the perfect amount of orbs. It was the exact same amount of orbs that I had when I, you know, had the some play. But, ah, oh, damn it. I should have put Gogeta first. Just that rotation. That's annoying. I'm going to do it. But, again. Hindsight is 2020, so... Stuff happens. Alright, there we go. I just need that rotation once. However, you know, we're going to be fine. I'm sure we will get it to happen. And this is a... So this is the rotation I had prior to the other thing that I wanted to do. But, oh, uh, it's kind of inconvenient. Right. Because Pan Dell is instantly going to be... Instantly going to be on 12k. I... Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's not the rotation I want to try anyway, but... Okay. I'm pretty certain that's done. I'm going to get a Doka mode as well, aren't I? I should try to get it next turn just so it doesn't interfere. Oh my goodness. The Pandel is just trying to steal the show. And I specifically said that I tried to run units that didn't steal the show. It was like, ugh. Nope. It's completely unavoidable, apparently. Okay. I keep in mind, he was an exclusive unit, so. Yeah, I've been back in a bit. Right. Oh, can I get a Doika mode here? Hmm. If I am going to do this, I am then going to do this. Okay. And then I'm going to do this for the Doika mode. So I should have a Gogeta next turn. And what I'm really, 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 really hoping is that I can get at least 10 to 12 orbs. Otherwise, it's not going to be an accurate representation of what he can do. I mean, I suppose the 10% isn't going to make too much of a difference, but I still want to see it regardless. Because his attack things are pretty damn bad. He does have the ability to greatly raise his attack when he super attacks. So that's good. So if he super attacks twice, that's going to be a double buff. Oh, he doesn't have the highest attack stat though, does he? Mm. This guy honestly had the potential to be such a great unit. And it's not to say that he isn't, but certainly not as good as he could have been. Yeah, those are green orbs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Literally half. That kind of sucks. I mean, you know, I'm still curious to see how high it is regardless, but... Maybe a double super attack would make up for not picking up those additional six orbs. But we can still get kind of a rust estimate of what, you know, what you can do. Okay... 1.1 1 .1 mil, wow. Hmm. So, I'm going to 
just estimate that he peaks at around 1.5 million for the most part, which isn't bad by any means. Very good. Especially when you consider that his link set is just bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep, I'm keeping it real. His link set is pretty damn bad. His stats are kind of average as well. Not... Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. There we go. I'm going to go out with a bang, at the very least. See what we can do. Once we get the ball, let's come back round. This is actually perfect, damn. I want to see if he can one-shot. It doesn't help that LL Goji has got a crit normal attack, though. Because that took out... Yeah, that's like a whole health bar. Health bar god, but you know, it's fine. It's still cool. Yeah, he has like one link with him, doesn't he? Okay, let's grab these. Oh, attack stat is definitely up there. I'm, to be honest, I'm very confident that he is going to one-shot. To be honest, Wiris is pretty much a must if you want to run him. Uh, is he, though? Because even with just six orbs and being paired off a pan, he's over a million easily. Yeah, he's not a must. He, he's just kind of there, really. 1.3 mil. And no additional super attack. Damn, the additional super attack would have been perfect there. Can't complain, though. Can't always get the crits. So he must be the hardest hitting Dragon Ball Fusions unit, right? It's not Crowley. I mean, hmm. He definitely is up there for sure. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Didn't necessarily... Oh, my bad. Didn't... It's just on my background. <laughs> Didn't necessarily go the way that I wanted it to, but... We still learned a few things about him. He surprised me for sure. Obviously, he helps out he's one of the best teams in the game, but... There are certain things that... I feel could have made him better, but overall he's just, he's, he's pretty good. That's, yeah, yeah, he's good.